Hello, and today I'm going to talk about tachotrienols, what that is you ask. It's vitamin E, it's a portion of vitamin E. By the way, my name is Yolita Brilliant, I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skincare, and I'm a licensed esthetician and massage therapist and makeup artist, blah, blah, blah. Don't mind my flower, I just went outside things to take some pictures of the makeup I did. Anyways, that's besides the point. What is vitamin E? or in some ingredients, like I mentioned, tachotrienols. Um, it's really beneficial ingredient for skin, and we actually sell vitamin um, C and E serum from PCA in our office. It's 20% C, 5% E. It tends to disintegrate less when it's mixed with vitamin C, so if you can get um, oils that are both, both serums that are both rich in C and E, it's wonderful actually working on the oil rose hip plus vitamin E sunflower um, plus bakuchio right now which is alternative retinol um, test how that works and I'm gonna update you guys but you see the rose hip is high in C sunflower in E and plus the cotrinols is added extra I think that makes a great combination in any skincare ingredient if it's organic, you know, uh, you can just buy where of the fruits or plants that are high in those vitamins and mix them. That way you get organic natural vitamin C and E and you can use it. It's anti-UV, uh, protects your skin from uh, UV ray damage. Of course, you want to wear sunscreen. That's besides the question, very important for anti-aging and skin health. Uh, so sunscreen number one, but also vitamin E, and especially if you have dry skin, it makes skin softer, it helps to regenerate the skin. People with scars use it for actually scars, heal, healing, and in general skin health. People use it for dry scalp, uh, itchiness. If you have, you know, skin that is it's like in winter, you know, like flaky, put vitamin E oil or sunflower oil that's natural organic is going to be high in vitamin E. Now, foods are high in vitamin E. So like I mentioned, sunflower, almonds, greens, we usually get enough vitamin E in our diet, but it's always helpful to supplement additionally on top of your skin because it's going to just have that extra nice effect. So vitamin E is one of that superpower vitamins. A, which is retinol, C, brightening, great for evening skin tone, antioxidant, and E, antioxidant as well. Uh, it's just like skincare bible can go with vitamin, can go wrong with vitamin E, especially drier skin types. Put it at night, don't need a lot. Put it on your neck, face, and uh, you'll see it's really nice, soothing, and moisturizing. Talking about sunflower oil, uh, one thing I wanted to mention that it's also high in linoleic acid, which helps skin barrier. Also, it's high in sesamol, antioxidant protection, anti-free radical damage and also um, anti-aging. So if you don't want to buy vitamin E, you could buy uh, sunflower oil, organic sunflower oil, which would be good to put on your skin because also it's not comedogenic. It's very low on a scale, so it's not going to clog your pores. It actually has antimicrobial um, some of the, those products. Well, vitamin E or sunflower oil, it's going to help you retain moisture. Uh, one thing to keep in mind that if you are using like organically produced oils, like sunflower oils or whatever other oils, you know, they're going to contain other compounds. Also, do always a patch test because you might have reaction regardless if it's organic or non-organic, you know, ing ingredient that depending but um, so make sure you don't have allergies to them um, best way to do a patch test is behind the ear and um, so with 
The thing to keep in mind with like organic oil is that they also contain other compounds that come with it. It's not like in the laboratory synthesized just like one ingredient. So you might get even more benefits like full spectrum from those oils. But just from the vitamin E itself, if it's from not necessarily organic oil source, but just add it know to uh, any of the creams it's very popular it's like add it everywhere to face to hand creams to moisturizers to um, I think even like you know shampoos I think uh, because it's you can put vitamin E on your hair it helps to get that shine and healthiness uh, if you have split ends nourishes the hair I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Please subscribe, give a thumbs up. If you can, please, I would appreciate that. And I'll see you next video. And I'm Yolita Bullion at Instagram as well. Have a brilliant day.